Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains. Um, last video, I kind of went over what we were going to do here, and we're going to build the whole big train yard. And I wasn't going to do a video about tearing all this apart, because I have to rip out all of this stuff. Um, but someone had mentioned that they want to see the, the process of how that goes. So I'm just going to do a quick thing. Uh, no big deal. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we can start over here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, just a regular putty knife. This is all just white foam. It's not my usual foam that I use. It's just a white foam and I'm just going to pry it under there and lift it up. It's not pretty and you know it's going to make a it makes a huge mess but this is what's involved. Okay, so that's that's the first hillside to come out. And we just clean this down as flat as we can get it. I'm going to get that for now. Now we're going to take the shot back and just clean up that mess a little bit. Alright, so that's that part is done. I'm going to take an, uh, one of these knives, okay, and the blade extracts and all. So I've got, to, I've got to loosen the tracks here. I've got a small building here we'll take off of here these trees okay so now I have to pull out some of these tracks we don't need these in here now you know and looking at this I I think what I want to do is I want to pull out this section of track right here and that might be the, the best way to, to show what's going on here now this track is put down with caulk. It's glued down with caulk and I have feeders in. I have a set of feeders here. Uh, I got another set right here, here. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this long knife and I'm just going to cut the caulk underneath. I'm going to slide it underneath because I want to try and reuse as much of this track as I can. So I'm going to slide it, slide it underneath and there goes my blade. that and we just want to cut both sides it can can be a little rough um, but you just got to be patient with it don't rush it and you'll be able to get these off no problem And 
and you just got to keep working it. So now I've got this piece is almost up. Get some cutters and I'm going to cut the little feeders that are right here. Okay, so I have some cutters. And I just want to get this track loosened up over the feeders. Just go in and snip that. that and there's the first piece out so the next step in this process would be to scrape off this road bed Now, if I took more time, I might be able to save the road bed here, but I don't really know that it's worth my trouble. I have uh, a whole bunch more. Let's raise this up a little bit. There you go. So now you can see that the rails are gone right here, this small section. Now I have to just continue the process all the way through and all these tracks the rest of this all the way down to the main line to the main line where that turnout is over there has to come out and then all the way back to this side right up to this turnout here has to come out and then I think I'm actually going to remove this turnout and the turnout over here I'm going to remove this one as well we don't need those anymore uh, with this new setup that's going on in here. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's a lot of work. There's, there's you know a lot to do. This is going to take me several hours. And I'm going to try and get this done for next week. But uh, I don't know. I've got, I've got a lot of things going on here right now. Uh, it's hard to keep up with. But I will try to get another video out next week and show you the progress of what's going on. So this is what I'm up against. Uh, you can kind of see what's going on. Um, and that down there also has to come out. Because um, we need the space. So this building here and this whole green crop field over there is all going to come out. And then our train yard is going to go all the way back down there. So, you know, needless to say, there's there's a lot to do here. Uh, that hillside and the rock face is going to come out. And it, all that gets done the same way I did this first one. And I have to take that all down to the, to the plywood here. It all needs to come down to the plywood. Um, and then once I get all that done, then we could start the process of rebuilding and setting in the uh, the new tracks. Um, so I've already broken this blade, so I don't have any more. I got to run out and get some more. Um, so anyway, that's the process. That's how you do it. it. It's it's a huge mess. There's no big mystery to it. It's just having enough nerve to just get up in there and start tearing out all the work you spent hours putting in. And if you can do that it's not a problem um, so anyway that's that's as far as I'm gonna go on this video and I'm gonna actually put this camera down and, and get into tearing this stuff out without the camera because it's much easier when I don't have to worry about where the camera angles are so 
so yeah hopefully this all goes well and uh, next week's video uh, maybe I'll have this all um, all mowed down and the tracks gone I'd like to can't promise but we'll see um, so until next time happy modeling and we'll see you later